You see females as, um, as teachers, as nurses, and sometimes as doctors, but as you know, scientists at the lab bench, you don't have a lot of examples of that. My name is Shannon Green, and I'm a microbiologist, and I'm also a triathlete. My expertise is in bacterial cell biology and genetics. So science is kind of an interesting career path to go into because at its very core, it teaches you how to ask questions and it teaches you how to evaluate evidence in a very critical way where you don't see a lot of female role models in the science field. However, I was really encouraged by you know, a lot of my teachers. They never made me feel like you know, a woman couldn't be a scientist. Keep your curiosity because that's what makes a great scientist and so just keep asking questions um, and keep an open mind. When I was three years old, uh, The Little Mermaid came out and I was absolutely obsessed with that movie and I can still remember seeing the opening scene of Ariel swimming towards Prince Eric's boat and she's diving towards him doing the butterfly stroke. And ever since then, I became obsessed with the water and wanting to be a mermaid and wanting to swim like Ariel. I was very intimidated though by the idea of joining a swim team. As I was getting older, a lot of my friends were starting to do that. And for some reason I had it in my head that when I joined swim team, it was no longer gonna be fun. And it took a lot of convincing on the part of my mom, finally when I was 10 years old, to join a summer league swim team. And after that first practice, I will admit defeat and say that it was the most fun I'd ever had in my life. And I was like, mom, why didn't you sign me up for this sooner? But I had to approach it at my own pace. I think maybe if she had pushed me a little bit earlier, you know, maybe I would have rebelled against it and not enjoyed it as much. I think the timing had to be right. And so I started swimming all year round and I would still do summer league swim team with my friends as well because it was just really, really fun. Like that's the basis of it. It was just so much fun to be with all of my best friends in the water, having fun pushing each other and encouraging each other, writing eat my bubbles in Sharpie on each other's backs for swim meets. I just, I loved it. A good friend of mine, who had also been a former collegiate swimmer, she convinced me to do my first sprint triathlon. So the one thing that I have really taken away from triathlon, it expanded that you know, um, athletic drive to biking and running and this whole new sport. And I you know, became completely hooked after my first race in 2009. It's now 2017, so eight years later, I'm still in this sport. I'm still as in love with it as ever. Triathlon is very individual. It's, it's you against the clock, same as you know things were with swimming. But you still have this team of people that surround you. But I like that swimming and also triathlon, that my result is a function of exactly what I put in. There's no other externalities, or very few other externalities. There's weather and there's course, but it's all about how I deal with those things. And I really like that. And I like that about science as well. I think that that carries over too. So I guess my, my advice to women wanting to get into triathlon is to you know, be, be brave um, and also, again, be, be curious, you know, be willing to learn about new sports that you might not be an expert in. You might be a runner and not know much about swimming, but you know, be open to learning new things, be open to you know, new people helping you out because we're available to help you out. We want to you know, encourage more people to get into the sport. Um, and you know, even though it is you know, still a sport, it's still competitive, I think it's one of the most supportive competitive communities that I've ever been involved with.